Hey VC, it's Kat. i um, here to make another video. Um, this video is going to be a little different than what I normally do. Um, I decided to pull five records out of my collection and tell you what those records mean to me. Um, so, these are going to be um, five of the records um, that mean the most to me at this time anyway. <laughs> um, so here we go. So my first choice is Tesla, the great um, radio conservation or controversy, I'm sorry. And the reason why I chose this record this was one of the very first records, not this particular one, but I had this when I was growing up, when I was a teenager, and um, I can remember laying on my bed for hours just listening to this record over and over and over and over again. I mean, I literally would play this record. I wore the copy that I had when I was a teenager out so bad, like, you couldn't even listen to, like, there were certain songs, like, my favorite songs off of this record, of course, our love song, because, you know, it's, it's a power ballad, what girl doesn't like a power ballad, but, um, love song is one of my favorites, but, um, like, Hang Tough, and, um, To Be a Man, it's a great song, um, but the one song in particular that I played over and over and over again was, let's see if it's on here, um, I know it is, I think it's on the first side, um, yes it is, Lazy, Lazy Days, Crazy Night, I played that song till all you heard was crackles and pops, like you couldn't even listen to the song, it's because I played it so many so many times over and over and over again. I'd move the needle back and play it again, move the needle back, play it again. So that's why I chose this. When I found it in my adulthood, I about peed. Seriously. I was so excited to find this record and I have since played it and oh my god, I love it just as much now as I did then. So Tesla. Great band. Very underrated band. Go get you some Tesla. Particularly that particular record. It's a great record. Um, my next choice. Of course, you know, there's two bands I have to include in this video. And one of them is Motley Crue. Of course, one of the reasons why I chose this album was because they're one of my favorite bands. Um, again, childhood connection here. This particular record I had on cassette when I was a teenager and um, to have it on vinyl is amazing. I never had it on vinyl. Um, but this is a reissue of this record. Um, reissued on um, Motley Crue's label. Um, but the reason why I chose this record because I I did listen to this. This record is the reason why I am a Motley Crue fan to this day. Um, I love the cover. Vince, that's Vince Neil, if you didn't know. Um, love the cover. Um, but the music, the music is amazing. There's not a song on this record that I do not absolutely love. Like, I love every single song. Live Wire. Come On and Dance, Public Enemy Number One, Merry Go Round, which is one of my very favorite songs off this record, Take Me to the Top, great song, Piece of Your Action, Starry Eyes, another one of my very, very favorite songs off of here, um, Too Fast for Love, and On With the Show. Great record, amazing band. Love Motley Crue, love them. This is an amazing record. So that's why I chose this one. Of course, the other band that I had to include, y'all know, I'm a huge Heart fan. It's Heart, uh, Little Queen. And this is their second album 
Um, first being, their first one being uh, Drew Mode Annie. This is their second release. Um, and I love this record. I never, I didn't really um, discover Heart. In, in particular, in the 80s, I liked Heart for their 80s stuff. But I really didn't discover their older stuff until I was probably in my 20s when I discovered their older stuff. And this quickly, quickly, quickly became my very favorite Heart album. It is my, my, I love every song on here. But, of course, this is the record that has Barracuda on it. So, I mean, who doesn't know that song and love that song? But it has other great songs like Dream of the Archer. Nancy plays the, the mandolin on that song. Um, Treat Me Well another great song. Little Queen, another great song. I mean, every song, Kick It Out, that's a good song too. Um, but every song on here is the essence of heart. So, I really love this record. Um, I do believe this is on Mushroom. Oh, no, it's on Portrait. Portrait label. Um, I don't think it has any inserts pictures on the labels now. Um, but Little Queen, great record. If you don't know Hart's earlier stuff, please check out their earlier stuff. It's not anything like their 80s stuff. It's more um, classic rock type feel. Um, great record. The next record I chose is um, Kiss, The Elder, and this is a gatefold. The reason why I chose this record, it's my very favorite Next to Love Gun um, record by Kiss. And I know people don't like this record too much, but there's a few reasons why I like this record. One, I'm a huge reader. So because this whole record is a concept album and tells a story, automatically drew me in. Second reason, I have a fascination with doors. I mean, come on, really? Okay, enough said about that. And the third reason why this is a very special record to me, um, because my boyfriend introduced me to this record and it just has a very, very, really very special place in my heart. So I love all the songs on here. Again, it tells a story, so you have to listen to it from beginning to end to understand. And it has to be the right track listing because I do understand that there are some of these uh, released that the songs are mixed up. So it has to be in the right track listing in order for it, you to understand. But um, just to name a few songs off here that I like, of course, The World Without Heroes, the most popular song off of this record. Um, love that song. But um, I also like um, Dark Light, um, The Oath, Mr. Blackwell. I even asked my boyfriend, who the heck is Mr. Blackwell? Anyway, um, Odyssey, great song. Under the Rose, another great song. I like them all. Um, anyway, so that's The Elder. Gatefold. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then the last record that I have to show in this video is a more recent band. And um, some people may not have heard, actually quite a few people may not have heard, of this band, um, and that is the Blackfoot Gypsies. Um, they're out of Nashville, Tennessee, and I heard about this band actually from a member of the VC, um, and I don't really think she makes videos anymore, but um, her name is um, Billie G. Gunn, and um, she actually showed this record in one of her videos and I was intrigued and I uploaded some of their music, listened to it, 
Um, they have a Bob Dylan kind of sound. Um, it would be like if Bob Dylan, Black Crows, and Aerosmith had a love child. That would be the Blackfoot Gypsies. Great band. Amazing band. Check them out. Please, please check them out. Um, I will actually link their YouTube page on the bottom here. So please check them out. They're, they're a great, great band. Um, and I actually had a, an issue getting this record. And they had no problem with fixing my issue. So, um, it's a purple marble record. I don't know if you can really see that too well, but um, it, it's, it's kind of a orchid color, I guess. Um, but great songs. Um, my favorite songs off of here on side one would be um, the first song, Don't I Don't Know About You, but, but I Feel Like Making Love. <laughs> and um, I want to rock, I want to roll around with you. And then on side two, Trigger, and probably, I like all of them, but probably Can't Afford Your Time. So, uh, good, good record, great band, check them out, Blackfoot Gypsies, I will link them at the bottom here. So, that's the video. Um, you got any comments or um, any questions? Um, I'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, please leave them below and um, subscribe if you're not. Introduce me to some of your friends. Um, that's all I got. I'll see you next time.